Hi guys, so today I want to share another story with you. I actually have another drama alert for you guys. This is about the Real Housewives of Potomac. It looks like Monique Samuels is filing counter charges on Candace Dillard over this epic dinner fight that they had. Okay, so let's get into the details. Now this all started last month. I guess they were shooting, cameras were rolling, and Candace threw a drink in Monique's face and Monique went ham. Just to put it simply, okay, people, she went ham. I guess she took Candace's head and slammed it into the table and went off. Now, listen, I don't really advocate violence unless you throw a damn drink in my face. Then, as far as I'm concerned, all bets are off. So I'm thinking, this is just for me, that... Monique handled her business, okay? Because Candace is always running her mouth to begin with. But I guess it was really, really bad. But hey, that's the chance that she took by throwing a drink into Monique's face because you never know who's the wrong one to mess with, people. And I guess Monique was the wrong one to mess with. So then, after Monique goes Rambo, people, not even Bruce Lee, we're talking Rambo. They're saying that it was really bad. After Monique goes Rambo on Candace, then she wants to run to the court like the crybaby that she is. So on October 16th, she filed a criminal complaint on Monique. Can you believe it, people? And on November 7th, Monique was officially charged with second-degree assault and scheduled to appear in court on December 23rd. Now, just that right there makes me mad. December 23rd, right before Christmas Eve? Do I really have time for this? Well, it looks like I gotta make time, people, because I'm gonna find out what happened on that day. And not only am I forced to angry report, that's what I call it, when I have to work when I don't feel like it. Now that I'm forced to angry report what's gonna happen during this court case, I'm also going to add this to the list of reasons why I don't like Candace, okay? Cannot stand her. Think she's a crybaby. And I know people are saying, you're supposed to be neutral. Just report what, shut up, people. That's not what I do. You get my opinion on this channel. And I don't like Candace. She's always running her mouth. And I'm kind of glad, even though I don't advocate violence, except in this case right here. I mean, good for you, Monique. Enough is enough. I mean, hell, even Candace's own mother doesn't like her. We remember last season when she hit her in the head with the purse. Good for you, Mom. So now, the reason I'm up so early on a Saturday morning, angry reporting again, is because Monique has filed a counterclaim. Now, this is good, because you're not just going to sue me and I don't say anything about it. So on November 14th, Monique filed a counterclaim for assault too. And so now yesterday, Candace was officially charged with second degree assault and issued a summons to officially appear in court also on December 23rd. So it looks like tw December 23rd is when it's all gonna go down, people. Now another result of this huge fight is, allegedly, this fight has divided the cast in half, people, you've got Team Candace, which is Giselle and Robin. Now, I really, really do like you, Robin, but I don't give a damn. I'm jumping ship. I'm on Team Monique. And who's on team, Who's also on Team Monique? That would be Ashley, Karen, and the new girl. Her name is um, Wendy Osifo. I mean, I cannot believe that Giselle and Robin has lost their mind. I, yes, I admit I wasn't there. I didn't see what happened, but I don't have to see what happened, people. I know how Candace can get. And according to the rumors, Giselle is trying to get... Now, sit down for this one, okay? She's trying to get Monique fired. She's saying that she's violent and she feels unsafe when she's filming when <laughs> Monique is in her presence. Really, Giselle? I mean, come on. I mean, you wouldn't have to feel so unsafe if you would just keep your damn wine in your cup. I mean, please. I mean, I like you, Giselle and all, but please don't make me put an ED on the end of the word like, because I will do it. Trust me, people, I will do it. And here's another request I have of you, Giselle. Please don't make Monique develop a sudden case of foot-to-ass syndrome, and so she has to put her foot up your ass by showing up 
to court and making matters worse. Just stay in the cut and mind your own business. But it sounds like you can't do that. You are, well, I don't even know the word to use, trying to get Monique fired, which she's not going to get, by the way. So you're wasting your time. But, you know, it's time for you to just pipe down and shut up and let these two women figure this out. No, let the courts figure it out. Now, officially yesterday, Monique's attorney released an official statement saying that this was self-defense. You know what that statement also means to me? It sounds like Monique has got the better lawyer. And then I really thought about it. Well, of course Monique has the better lawyer because who has the most money? That would be Monique. Remember, Candace is broke and can't even pay her own rent. So her mom probably, you know, went half in on the lawyer. I mean, this is a mess now, isn't it, people? So this is all the Real Housewife of Potomac news I have for you today. I will be back on camera on Monday. But today is Saturday, and I haven't even gotten out of bed yet. But I had to tell you guys this story. So what I want to know today in my comments section, I hate to be petty Betty, but, you know, I'm still grumpy. It's in the morning. Are you team Monique or are you team Candace? Also, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. And I'll see you guys on Monday.